In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. May peace, mercy and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon all of you. I am Umar bin Abid and you are watching Umar Linguistics. So, uh, dear viewers, today our lecture is the transcription of vowels, uh, which is the lecture 3 of chapter 2. So, in the last lecture we discussed the transcription of consonants in detail. So, today we are going to discuss the transcription of vowels in detail. We have already discussed chapter 1. So, you can watch uh, these videos as well. And as you know that we are following uh, one of the main, most authentic book on phonetics by Peter Ledford and Keith Johnson. So, uh, you can read this book as well. And I recommend to read this book as well uh, after the lecture or before the lecture or if you understand uh, from the book so then it is uh, upon your it is your choice that whether you want to uh, watch uh, the lecture or not so uh, this video is in English so you know uh, this channel is bilingual so actually I try to make each video both in English as well as in Urdu so if you want to watch uh, this video completely in Urdu so I have given the link in the description below but in this video, I'll speak only in English. So let's start. Contrastive vowels. In last lecture, we discussed that we can differentiate uh, between uh, different consonants uh, just by changing the one consonant in one word. Uh, and for example, we discussed the example like sorry, bit, sit it that uh, if uh, if in a set of words on uh, there is on uh, by the change of one sound uh, the uh, meaning of the word changes then it is uh, called a minimal set so uh, as far as consonants are concerned so we can we can find contrastive sounds uh, contrastive consonant sounds by such type of exercise easily however as far as vowels are concerned vowels are difficult to contrastive vowels actually contrastive vowels are difficult to transcribe in English unlike consonants for two reasons the first reason is that uh, if we uh, observe if we listen to uh, different accents of English so we shall notice that uh, there is a lot of variation in the use of vowels so for example uh, there are some vowels which are pronounced differently as in American English as compared to British English but the words are same the meanings of two words are same but uh, the the pronunciation of vowel is different and we shall look at some examples uh, after a while after a, a few seconds or after a few minutes and the second reason is that why it is difficult to transcribe contrastive vowels that authorities uh, in other words the phoneticians differ in their views that what constitutes an ap appropriate description of vowels that how we can transcribe vowels appropriately so we have already discussed in chapter 1 uh, the description of vowels that uh, by looking at the position of the tongue by looking at the articulation and by looking at the lips position so these are two reasons why the contrastive vowels are difficult to transcribe in English and now we shall look at some example so uh, we will easily understand this phenomena however we can try to make some minimal set of words differ in only in vowel sounds so for example, we can look for monosyllables. Monosyllable means the word contrast uh, the, uh, consist upon only on one syllable. Uh, syllable. And uh, a syllable means a syllable actually must have one vowel and may have two or more, uh, one or more optional consonants. So we can look at uh, some monosyllables that begin with H and end with D but differs only in one vowel sound which comes between these two consonant sounds and supplement this minimal set with other list of, of monosyllables as well so uh, just like this we can create some other minimal sets as well so for this we ha have to look at from the book so let me show you 
so uh, if we uh, look at the page number 41 of the book uh, a course in fanatics so here we shall find this table and in this table let me show you a few things that in this column one uh, these are all symbols which are usually used in american english then uh, in column two uh, this in this column we sh we have all uh, these vowel symbols the sounds for vowels which are uh, usually used in british english so this is one of the reason this is one of the reason why we cannot uh, easily uh, transcribe the contrastive vowels because you can see here just an example that this is the word h o e d but it is pronounced differently uh, uh, the vowel is different meanings are same but the vowel is different uh, both in british and american english the transcription of vowel similarly this is one of the example as well later uh, in this lecture we shall look at all these vowels all these vowels one by one in detail so uh, what we uh, have to look at these one two three four and five columns and these are actually five sets of five uh, sets five minimal sets in each of these set uh, there is only one vowel and the diff by the difference of only one vowel the meaning has been changed so for example if we look at this co column so between the h and d there is a vowel which has been changed so you can see like it is heed then hid head had had hard hot in the second column only uh, the last vowel changes like he hey ho ho who her hi how in the third column here uh, between the b and d the vowel has been changed like bead bid bed bed bad bad bod in the third fourth column between the h and t the vowel has been changed eat hit hate hat heart in the fifth we have between the k and d only the one vowel has is changed like kid 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 cat card cord so to uh, uh, let me uh, you can say let me clear that if you want to understand these vowels so you must have to listen all these uh, columns and you can easily listen to these examples by the um, by the um, from website which accompanies uh, this uh, book actually and this is uh, the website a course in phonetics so simply uh, if you write like a course in phonetics this a course in phonetics and you will find uh, this website at number 1 so click on this and as we have started chapter 2 so in chapter 2 just click on this example 2.2 the transcription of vowels so here if you click on any of the column any of the column so all these the whole column will be played and in in this way you can uh, notice that how one vowel is pronounced so in this way you shall also learn that how to pronounce a vowel sound uh, let me show you for example if i click on this teed did paid bed keyed bad all right so so in this way you can you can listen to all these columns and i prefer that please listen to all these columns because in uh, this is the way you can uh, differentiate different vowels all right uh, then uh, if we uh, come back uh, to the uh, to the to this column uh, the last column in this column we have the names for these symbols lower case i small capital l Uh, turn script a open o uh, epsilon and we shall look at uh, these uh, names uh, because uh, we have to look at each vowel in detail as well so uh, before uh, going further in the lecture uh, before moving forward uh, let me tell you that what is a vowel quality because we have to talk uh, about this word frequently 
so actually vowel quality is uh, vowel quality means all the distinguished characteristics of a particular vowel which result from the position of the tongue and the lips during its articulation we have already discussed such aspects in the first chapter uh, that for example uh, let me show you an example if i say cat and c o a t coat so in both these examples the vowel quality is different even just by listening two words we can analyze that the vowel quality is different when we uh, whenever we listen a subtle difference so we can easily understand that the vowel quality is different so for example in cat in cat we have this sound a so uh, usually a is a front vowel and a front low vowel and what is a front low low vowel and back front vowel in uh, back low vowel for this you can watch the previous chapter in previous chapter i have uh, discussed uh, about such aspects so i have added the link in the description below of chapter 1 so in this playlist in that playlist you can find such lectures and if we talk about coat so coat you can easily notice that in when you pronounce coat in this the vowel uh, the lips are actually rounded whereas in this vowel the lips were actually not rounded similarly in coat we have o o o which is i think a back vowel so uh, similarly if uh, i say boot boot is also a different uh, a vowel which differs in quality from both of these vowels so all these vowels are differentiate from each other by vowel quality why because in all these vowels the position of the tongue is different and the position of the lips is also different um, when we talk about the vowel quality we do not talk about the pitch loudness and duration of vowels all right so now uh, uh, just to give you uh, an example that how and why uh, to transcribe contrastive vowels uh, is actually a little bit different uh, difficult as compared to consonants so for this we have some examples from british and american english and how they differ from each other if we have two words and this one so if you are a native american english so most probably you will pronounce it like heart heart and this one heart but if you are a british english speaker and, uh, and especially a native british english speaker so you most probably you will pronounce it like hot and this like hot so you will not pronounce r actually so in american english r is always pronounced whatever the situation wherever the vowel comes either before the vowel or either after the vowel which we usually say post vocalic or in each and every situation in american english r will be pronounced on the other hand uh, and we transcribe r in ipa in this way in this way yes so this r will be uh, will always be pronounced in american english whatever the situation but in british english r is usually only pronounced uh, even in these situations it is uh, optional when after uh, after r we have some vowel sounds for example uh, if i say these are animals so in this position r could be pronounced in british english because just after this r sound we have another word which is starting from a vowel sound so in such situations r could be pronounced in the british english otherwise most of the time uh, it r is not pronounced uh, in british english so uh, in Amer Amer american english speakers distinguish these two words just by the pronunciation of r in heart and not pronouncing r in heart otherwise the vowel quality so now i am talking about the vowel quality the vowel quality in both of these uh, these words is same usually uh, the vowel in both of these words is this ha h 
hot hot for american english speakers but for british english speakers because r is not is not pronounced in heart because there is no vowel after r so uh, they usually uh, differentiate these two words by the vowel quality as well so for example for hot they use this vowel and for hot they use this vowel and let me show you this from the oxford advanced learning dictionary as well so i have opened up oxford advanced learning dictionary and i have searched the word hot so for example this is the british english you can see r is not transcribed because r is not pronounced hot and this is the american english heart heart and uh, now if we write the word uh search the word h o t sorry hot so now you can notice that the vowel quality is different and if you could just listen to it hot 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 and in american english the vowel is same uh, as it was in the word h e a r t heart but the difference is only that that in hot because r is not even in spellings so r is not pronounced so in this way this is one of the example that how british and american english uh, difference uh, are different in some vowels uh, another example uh, is these free pair pairs uh, this pair for american english speakers Uh, american english speakers pronounce the same vowel as in here as as in he similarly they pronounce the same vowel in had as in ha similarly they pronounce the same vowel in higher and high and they they differentiate uh, this one from this one just once again by r by pronouncing r in in the in this pair uh, in these words and by not pronouncing r in these word because there is no r actually as well however british english speakers they will not pronounce r in all of these words so how they differentiate they differentiate this one this word from this this from this and this from this by what we call diphthongs so diphthongs is actually the combination of two vowels where uh, the the tongue glide from one vowel to the other so uh, they like they say like he and he like ha and ha had and like higher and high uh, let me show you this from the dictionary as well so this is uh, example h e r e so in british english you can notice that here is a diphthong this one and this one these are the two vowels and in american english we have only uh, the one sound and if we and the same vowel will be in he as well uh, keep in mind that this dictionary actually hmm. uh, shows the phonemic transcription which we have already discussed a little bit in the earlier lectures and we will discuss phonemic transcription in detail in the incoming lectures so for british english uh, uh, and for the vowel is same in he and american english the vowel for he is the same as was as was in here but you can notice that uh, to def differentiate between h e r e and between uh, and h e so american english are actually just pronouncing r in here and but they uh, but british english are actually producing a diphthong in h e r e here all right so uh, sometimes even uh, you will notice uh, that uh, once again the main difference between american and british english pronunciation between these two words these two words and these two words is the r similarly uh, uh, there can be difference in one variety of english within the one variety of english even in american english the vowels are contrastive so once again more complex uh, we are in more complexity 
and this issue is raised more that how and that why contrastive vowels are difficult to transcribe for example uh, in uh, midwestern speakers of us american uh, of united states and more speakers in the western half of the united states they actually do not distinguish between the vowels like in odd odd and cord cord so they usually pronounce the same vowels in these two vowels and they also pronounce the same vowels in these two words as well but if we look in the dictionary so if we look in the dictionary this word a w e d it is pronounced with this vowel which we shall discuss later odd odd so actually oxford advanced english dictionary gives the pronunciation of north american english north american english doesn't mean this uh, the uh, the english spoken in the north northern part of the united states it actually a complete variety which even spoken through mo in most of parts of the united states as well as in canada as well so a w e d uh, it is pronounced in this way by by this vowel by but uh o o double d odd it is pronounced by odd odd in this way so odd. what what we have discussed that even uh, in some parts of the united states in some parts of the um, uh, united states where uh, american in american english or in other words in american english midwestern speakers and uh, most of the speaker in western half they do not differentiate between the vowels of these two words but for some other speakers for most of the american speakers american english speakers uh, the vowels in both of these two words and in both of the, these two words are different uh, so uh, what we have de uh, looked at the table so in 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 that table such differences are not covered because this is the not main topic of this book that uh, we uh, should discuss the variation within uh, a variety of english we shall discuss it in later or actually this is a part of some other books as well uh one more example of such difference is that the verb can the can i do you can you can do it and the noun can uh, when we drink a can of water or a can of uh something so for this they pronounce uh, and this is the difference in east coast of united states so so speakers uh, in the east coast they actually uh, pronounce this noun the noun word c a n uh, by making it more diphthongal so actually uh, they have a diphthong in the pronunciation of can can but by uh, for the verb can they only have one Uh, they pronounce it only by one vowel can but for this they usually pronounce it with a little bit uh, diphthong quality can so uh, now uh, we are going to uh, come uh, we have come towards our main issue for this lecture where we shall transcribe each vowel in detail and we shall discuss some issues we shall discuss that how uh, uh, one vowel is uh, transcribed in american english and how that same vowel is transcribed in american english so uh, the first issue is uh, that british and american transcription so uh, there are a lot of ways uh, we can transcribe the contrastive vowels uh, in british and american english as we have seen in the table let me show you again after a while so uh, we shall use two principal forms throughout this book so uh, you know we are following the book uh, a course in phonetics so we will constrain ourselves to that book uh, unless and until we'll start uh, something new or we feel that we have to look at some other aspects as well so i'll sh i shall make uh, lectures Uh, separately on such topics so uh, in the table the first column is usually uh, will be used for american english and the second will be used for british english however uh, that these transcriptions are reasonably reasonably similar to those of well known authorities on phonetics of english so these transcriptions are actually uh, confirms uh, confirms with the uh, 
फनेटिक अथॉरटीज अथॉरटीज और फोनिटिशंस विच वर्क ऑन द फनेटिक्स ऑफ इंग्लिश सो लेट मी शो यू दैट टेबल सो दिस इज़ द टेबल द फर्स्ट कॉलम इज सूटेबल और अप्लाइज टू मोस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ अमेरिकन इंग्लिश and the second for british english and these are the minimal sets we have already discussed and these are the names of each vowel or each symbol uh, one other issue uh, especially for the transcription of english uh, that we have already discussed that those consonant symbols uh, which are uh, usually uh, used as ordinary Uh, alphabet letters like p b t k so because these symbols represent sounds uh, similar to sounds used in french spanish or italian so uh, for consonants we don't have as much problem as we have for vowels and the vowel letters uh, which are used in ipa actually these are the same uh, Sim, uh, these are the same uh, vowel letters which are used in most of the world languages even including some very diverse languages like swahili turkish and navajo so including these languages and most of uh, the world's other languages so the vowel letters or the vowel symbols used in ipa confirms with all these languages so uh, uh, therefore uh, these Uh, letters are used in that way uh, in the roman alphabet uh, although ip has roman alphabet but other languages uh, may not have roman alphabet but the sounds for which ip has uh, devised those symbols so these languages uh, confirms or match with those with all uh, with all these symbols however as far as english is concerned so we know and we usually observe it i have already discussed many a times that uh, the spelling of english uh, are, are from the uh, the spelling of english you can say uh, have been uh, have been unchanged since you can say since the middle english so the spelling we use today are actually uh, used in the middle english as well and from uh, there onwards there were uh, there was not a major change in english spellings so therefore uh, these spellings uh, uh, at that time or in the old english you can say uh, uh, english ha english had all these vowel letters which are usually uh, which are which today in the english alphabets uh, are not used as sounds Uh, which are uh, today we have only twenty six alphabets. So, but there are a lot of sounds. Or in other words, that in English we have just six symbols. A E I O U. We have just these five. Sorry, five vowel uh, uh, vowel letters. These five vowel letters. But the sounds sounds are much more. so this is also one of the main problem similarly as in the case of consonants in old english this symbol was used as a spelling as well uh, but now it is not used in the spelling so these are some problems uh, which we have to face while transcribing english phonetically because sometimes the same vowel sounds differently in different words so now we shall look at uh, each consonant uh, sorry each vowel sound symbol in detail so at first we have these two symbols so uh, this is uh, this symbol is known as uh, lower case lower case i and this symbol is known as uh, small capital it is a, a small form of capital l which is we sometimes write like this so uh, we have uh, two uh, two pairs seat and sit similarly heed and 
heat. So uh, this sound, this sound is usually also present in Spanish uh, and Italian. So uh, and the same sound or the same letter we find in English as well. But the problem is that in English uh, this symbol is used in two ways, two or more ways, uh, unlike Spanish and Italian. Uh, as I have told you uh, that, uh, let me re erase something. Let me erase all everything. So, uh, in uh, these two examples, like uh, seat and sit, this pair and heed and hid this pair uh, when we uh, for for the transcription of uh, this pair and for the transcription of uh, this pair so we have uh, these two sounds actually uh, but uh, you can understand that in english alphabets we have only this letter uh, and not this one uh, but uh, this this letter is actually now a sim uh, here it is used as a symbol not as an alphabetic alphabet letter so you can notice that when we say seat sit heed hid so between these two vowels and between these these two vowels we can notice two uh, differences the first one is that uh, that uh, the vowel in seat and the vowel in sit they are different in quality they have different vowels quality secondly uh, the vowel in seat and seat and heed they are a little bit longer as well uh, they have uh, a longer duration a little bit so uh, therefore what we do uh, that sometimes we uh, transcribing like heed we put uh, this symbol to show the uh, uh, duration and for a sit and hid we use this transcription sit uh, hid and sit and to show longer duration we use these columns so uh, therefore uh, this uh, uh, when we want to show a vowel uh, like sit hid so we usually use this symbol we have to use this symbol and if we want to show the duration so we can put these two columns in front of this e symbol even in phonemic transcription in the dictionaries only uh, this symbol is used uh, and the columns are put just after it so however uh, these are the two symbols and you can we can say that this is used for the shorter version of e uh, and this is used for the longer version uh, as far as in phonemic uh, transcription sometimes these columns are not you can say um, these columns may be skipped as far as phon phonemic transcription is concerned but as far as phonetic transcription is concerned these two columns are put so i would like to show you that for example seat in seat you can say that just after the vowel these two columns are used and this is from the Oxford advanced learner dictionary and in sit. in the vow, uh, vowel sit we use only this symbol so you can say it is the shorter version sit 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 and listen to this seat seat, seat. So I would also uh, rec recommend you that please uh, listen to those columns as well which are given in the table and I have told you that from the company's website you can listen to all these columns in the table. Then we have uh, this symbol actually uh, it is uh, what we call a diff song. 
so uh, in this symbol uh, the first symbol uh, this one is actually uh, used in spanish uh, it is similar to uh, spanish uh, uh, spanish sound uh, which is used uh, in the word milk in spanish for milk uh, we use uh, the spellings l e c h e and its sound is like leche 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 so the first symbol is about this uh, from the span uh, similar to spanish word uh, similar to the sound used in the spanish word leche and the second uh, symbol this one e uh, it is the same symbol which we use in the word hid and transcribe it like that hid all right uh, then uh, we have these two symbols this is called epsilon and this is known as ash so uh, we have two words like h e a d and h a d it has this symbol had and this it has this symbol had sometimes in phonemic transcription uh, instead of this there is only this symbol but usually in uh, phonetics uh, we use this symbol so had and had 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 so uh, this uh, this is based on the greek version uh, it is actually a greek letter which name uh, which name is epsilon and as far as uh, uh, this symbol is concerned it uh, could be said that it is the combination of these two symbols and we transcribe it like that all right uh, the next two symbols uh, this one and this one so uh, the name for uh, this symbol is script script a and for this uh, the uh, name is turned script a because you know it is the reverse side reverse uh, you can say reverse of uh, reverse of this symbol so actually these two sounds uh, are also one of the example of uh, difference between american and british english as i have uh, given you this example earlier as well that uh, in american english that these two words heart and hot are only uh, you can say differentiate by the pronunciation of r however the vowel quality in both of these word is this hard and hot keep in mind that uh, because just i am uh, using the pencil otherwise we have to write it like this uh, the uh, upside down word uh, version of r so hot and hot however uh, as far as uh, these were some american english speakers who use this uh, it in this way as far as uh, uh, british english speakers are concerned and some east coast american english speakers some some east coast american english speakers and uh, most of the british english speakers they differentiate uh, these two words by using this sound in uh, hot so for for them heart is transcribed in this way heart and heart is transcribed in this way and uh, let me show you the dictionary so you can listen the difference between these two as well it is like hot not very rounded lips are not too rounded but a little bit rounded and this is like heart so for this word like heart only the difference is r heart 
heart heart and uh, uh, the second one h o t hot 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 this symbol hot and in hot. american english the same symbol hot hot the other one hot. ah so this is the difference and you can listen it from the uh, from the website Uh, the next vowel we are going to look at uh, is this and uh, this sound uh, we can find in uh, words like uh, c a u g h t caught or n a u g h t not uh, for more uh, uh, for most of the speakers in uh, of british english as well as american english uh, this pair and uh, this pair and this pair so they distinguish these two pairs by this vowel uh, by using uh, this sound in caught and not and they they use different vowels in caught and not and as we know for british english speakers in caught they uh, use this sound and for american english speakers they use this sound in caught however in caught they use both of them use uh, this sound uh, and it is true for most of the british and american english speakers and uh, these two uh, words uh, have similar sounds have similar vowels as we have in b a w d board or law or you can say bot uh we can call uh, this word as an open o we can name this as open o it is the name for uh, this symbol so uh, let me uh, now show you the dictionary so we can listen uh, these words as well and uh, please keep in mind uh, that Uh, Oxford Advanced Language Dictionary usually represent a phonemic transcription. It does not represent the phonetic transcription. So where uh, wherever we have a difference between the symbols, so we have to follow a course in phonetics. What we are following the book because we are uh, we are uh, now discussing the phonetic transcription. So you can see that both in American uh, British English and American English, this sound has been used in court. C A U G H T. Caught. Caught. And they have also put these columns as well, which we have already discussed. That sometimes in phonemic transcription, it is not very necessary to put uh, these two dots. But uh, usually, Oxford Advanced Language Dictionary use these dots. Now, if we uh, look at uh, the contrastive word C O T caught. so we shall notice that caught. how british english speakers like uh, use this sound and caught. american english speakers uh, use uh, this sound ah uh, however uh, our main purpose caught. was that that c a u g h t caught and between c o t caught B uh, most of the american english speakers and british english speakers distinguish these two words however uh, um some mid uh, some speak some english speakers from midwest of the united states and some speakers of the western american they uh, uh, they do not uh, distinguish between all these words like they do not distinguish these word like caught not or caught or not so they don't they do not distinguish between the vowels from all these sounds in other words for them for them the the vowel in all these words is actually same so for that reason we uh, uh, if we if we are transcribing this accent and so in that case we don't need to use this symbol why uh, because this symbol will just add some phonetic detail but not a phonemic detail so if we are transcribing phonetically and we have to look at each and uh, 
have respect of uh, the pronunciation so then we can use this symbol otherwise from the perspective of phonemic transcription uh, and if we're talking about the western american speakers or midwestern speakers of america so at, in that case we don't need to put this sound for the transcription of uh, this word or this word where we usually have uh, the other speakers of british english uh, british english and other speakers of american english uh, they distinguish but these speakers do not distinguish so we don't need to put this sound uh, in the transcription if we are transcribing from the perspective of uh, phonemic transcription uh, uh, however uh, these accents these accents unlike other american accents they uh, when they have words like h o r s e or h o a r s e so whenever r this r sound is followed uh, by a uh, by a vowel so in that case they use different vowels so for uh, in this word they will use different vowel in this word they will use a different vowel because the r is following so it is the speciality of that accent all right so therefore when r is followed by a uh, by a vowel so in that case the vowel may differ in horse and in h o a r s e horse in these two words the vowel may differ in uh, these accents of western american speakers and uh, mid western uh, speakers all right Uh, then we have uh, the next symbol for the sound u uh, which is usually uh, known as curled curled u it is the name for this uh, symbol and it is what uh, we usually found in word like hood could should and many other words like good so uh, this symbol is used in such type of Uh, words and this vowel uh, and it is both uh, used in american and british english and even in other accents as well we can observe it uh, then uh, we have the uh, next symbol uh, which is actually a diff song and let me write this as well so uh, it is a diff song and for uh, in british english transcription this symbol is used uh you can see and this is for american english transcription so you can notice the first symbol in both of these diphthongs are uh, diff uh, is different um uh, although although when we listen to the same word like uh we can say h o e ho or d o u g h do o you can say c o d e code so when we listen to both american and british english uh, as far as dictionary is concerned so they sound same although uh, in american uh, english transcription this symbol is used and the reason is that for most of the american english speakers the first symbol of uh, uh, the first uh, the first symbol uh, in the diphthongs which are coming in these word is actually similar to o which is actually a sound in spanish and Ita italian so they say that this is that symbol uh, that sound which is also used in spanish and uh, italian but for most of the speakers of uh, british english and especially from the south uh, for uh, from the uh, those in Brit uh, sp speakers of british english which belong to the southern part of uh, southern part of uh, uh british uh, britain for them the first symbol in these in all these words uh, of vowel is actually this which is actually known as schwa which we shall discuss later as well uh, which is schwa which is an upside upside down version of uh, this sound it is an upside down version of uh, e uh, alphabet all right or a sound uh, then uh, then uh, the last element like uh, uh, this one and this last element uh, or the second element of this diphthong 
is same for both for american and british english speakers and now let me show you uh, this from uh, the dictionary as well so uh, here is the example like code and the code and this is a transcription you can notice the first is show and then called u code and for american english speaker the first sound is o uh, just like um, used in italian or spanish language code. so uh, they sound similar and uh, they tend to be sound very similar to each other however there is a little bit difference and if you listen to uh, those uh columns which i have already shown you uh, that uh, if you go to the a course in phonetics website and if you go to the chapter 2 and if you look at the example 2.2 and if you listen from there so you may notice a little bit difference uh the next vowel sound we are going to discuss is this one which is uh, sometime also known as wedge and you can notice that it is the downside version of the letter v so uh, it is the let it is the sound which is usually used in words like b u d bad hot uh, and uh, this sound is quite similar to shaw quite similar to shaw and uh, you know you have noticed that this is the same shaw which is usually occurred in the lost diphthong which we have discussed and it usually appears in most of the british english diphthongs as the first symbol as the first sound uh, and it is named uh, by its german uh, version shaw uh, so in german its name is shaw because it comes from there all right uh let me show you this as well from the dictionary so b u d bud and you can notice this symbol bud both in british and american english uh, now we have uh, another uh, two symbols so first we'll shall discuss this one and then we shall discuss uh, this one so uh, this is the symbol you can notice that it is actually the reverse form of greek letter epsilon uh, which was this which is usually appear in words like bed said wed so it is the reverse version of this epsilon sound and it usually appears in word like pert bird cut etc so uh, you know uh, this is all uh, once again one of the case where british english speakers will not pronounce r and we have already discussed that there are some american english speakers as well who uh, do not pronounce r uh, just like british english speakers in such cases so they transcribe it like third all right or bird similarly curd as well so uh, for uh, such speakers uh, british english speakers or some american english speakers or any of the speakers who do not pronounce r unless there is no word uh, there is no sound uh, there is no uh, vowel sound after the r so for them the uh, the transcription is this one however you know most of the american english speakers they pronounce r in every case and in this case as well so uh, what they do that they combine this a uh, with the r so actually it be uh, for this uh, combination for the combination of this sound and this sound we use Uh, or in ipa and other symbol is used which is this one and what happens that after shaw uh, we put a hook and this actually this hook uh, represent or coloring so therefore uh, this symbol is used so now uh, 
once again as i have already told you that the oxford advanced learner dictionary shows the phonemic transcription so you will not found uh, you will not find this symbol in the oxford advanced learner dictionary instead we found only this symbol and by, and they just put r when they transcribe it as an Amer uh, american english however in the phone phonetic transcription we use this symbols so we shall uh, transcribe bird like this because uh, it already includes the r uh, r sound in this symbol all right so we transcribe it in this way and its uh, its name uh, you can say i'm using name for this is actually uh, shwar from shwar it is shwar because uh, r has been combined to this sound let me show you from the dictionary uh, to just uh, uh, make sure that you understand that why we should not follow oxford advanced language dictionaries or such dictionaries for looking at the to look at the phonetic transcription so this is a uh, bird and you can notice that in british english because r is not pronounced in such cases bird and in american english they have just put put bird. r so uh, i have discussed in the first lecture of this chapter that this is called the citation style this pronunciation is correct undoubtedly undoubtedly this is the correct phonemic transcription and it is also one of the best uh, dictionary no doubt but when we talk about the phonetic transcription so we look at some minor details as well so which usually is not the purpose for uh, of such Uh, now we shall discuss the songs where uh, the tongue glide without any stoppage from one consonant to another so first of all we have this consonant which we usually say i and which we usually have uh, and sorry uh, the first consonant in this word uh, which is this uh, so it actually uh, in between Uh, the two uh, vowels which appear in like cat or you can say in hard which we usually pen transcribe in this way or if american then in this way so uh, the vowel uh, this vowel is actually the first element of this dick song is actually a vowel which is between these two vowel sounds a and a the second element u is actually the same sound which usually we have in words like hood should could so uh, uh, there are uh, uh, many examples of uh, uh, this vowel for example the most common example is how now and some others as well you can find in the dictionary or you can find on your own there are a lot of examples for this vowel and we have this vowel so once again the first symbol a is similar to the last one which we have already uh, discussed and the second uh, symbol the second element is same which we have usually in this word in the hid and so it is pronounced like i i so for example if i say my or i or sigh so or in other words hide so in all these examples we have uh, this diff song so uh, once again these two diff songs uh, uh, use both in british and american english quite in a similar way then we have uh, another diff song so in this diff song the first element is the same which we have in board or which we have in low or other words the second element is same as we have in words like hid it is usually pronounced like oi oi so for example boy or you can say soy toy so in all these examples we have this 
the song then uh, as we have uh, seen in the table let me show you again that uh, british english usually have some additional diphthongs which are actually not used in american english so where uh, uh, Amer uh, british english speakers use uh, this sha sound at the end of a diphthong or as at as the second element of a diph diphthong so instead of this sound american speakers pronounce r instead of sh sha sound uh, so let me show you the table once again so in the table you will notice we have discussed all these symbols one by one and now we have uh, remained these three symbols so what we are talking about that cases uh, um, uh, in american english uh, the second element uh, after a vowel is actually the r as we can see here but in british english uh, shaw sound is used as the second element of a diff song for example like this here then here then her her or have then hired or higher so let uh, we should discuss all these one by one so this one which we have already discussed the same uh, uh, the word like here in american english it is like this one and in british english it is like this one then we have uh, these two uh, uh, you can say these two vowels one actually the diphthong the other is not and it is used in american english for example we have the example of h i a r r in and in Brit british english we have like this and in american english we shall transcribe it like this when you uh, look in uh, look up uh, this word in the oxford advanced learner dictionary so i have already told you that oxford advanced learner dictionary usually have used the phonemic transcription so actually using this symbol uh, they use in oxford advanced learner dictionary this symbol is used but it sounds the same so uh, therefore you must not confuse these two sounds because usually we should not use these sounds uh, because we are actually following uh, the authorities of phonetics in english as well as the iphr all right then we have uh, this example ire and i so for example when we have example like fire or higher so uh, in american english it is some times pronounced like this fire and in british english it is sometimes pronounced like fa fa however uh, both in uh, american english and british english it is also pronounced like this fire so it is usually you can we can say a tif tif song or it has two syllables actually fire fire and in america in british english Uh, then this is used in this way fire all right and if you look in the dictionary uh, oxford advanced learner dictionary so you will found find this transcription this is for american english and the other is for this this is for the british english uh, secondly Uh, we have another uh, 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 diphthong which is ex uh, which is exclusively only used in british english and even some old fashioned british english speakers use this diphthong in example like poor 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 but if you look in the oxford advanced learner dictionary so the first pronunciation of this one is poor is this po 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 let me show you from the dictionary so this is the word and you can see this is the first transcription poor po same is the case with american english but r is pronounced 
poor but they have also given that pronunciation which is very unique poor poor uh, but as we know and that it is usually used by old fashioned british english speakers not by young ones poor even in american english this pronunciation is used but without a diphthong it is just a single vowel poor because there are uh, very uh, there are some issues related to this sound uh, because it is one of the most frequent vowel sound so uh, first of all uh, as we have uh, seen a lot of, uh, as we have seen that table in that table sorry uh, we uh, looked a word a h o y ahoy so except this word uh, there was no word in the complete table which has more than one syllable so all uh, all other words were consisted upon monosyllables so actually all these words so all these words uh, don't have any stressed or unstressed syllables because they are only monosyllable there is only one syllable in each word except this word ahoy all right uh but uh, when we uh, want to mark unstress uh, and stress vowels actually so uh, or unstress or un uh, stress syllables so as far as sha is concerned so by far it is the most common unstress unstress syllable all right and it comes at various positions in words for example if we talk about sofa or soda so it comes at the end like sofa soda don't be confused with this i have just written both the american and as well as british transcription so sofa and soda uh, then we have uh, some words where uh, this show come at the beginning for example Uh, if i say emphasis m for sis so uh, we shall transcribe it like in this way m f sis and the stress syllable will be uh, the first syllable m for sis or demonstrate in even in demonstrate the first syllable is stress and the second and the third syllable both of these are unstressed syllable similar is the case with uh, around in around the first syllable is uh, usually the unstressed and the second syllable is once again the stressed syllable and the first syllable is unstressed so we mark this sign before uh, before that syllable which is stressed syllable so um, it is good to mark uh, stress the mark of stress syllable if we have a word which has more than one syllable like around or other words as well however uh, there are some american english speakers who uh, do not who also use this sha sound as a stress syllable as well and the reason is that uh, the word like bud or hat so usually for most of the english speakers uh, they pronounce uh, this this sound in these words bud and hat all right so uh, but uh, what we can say uh, that uh, so uh, but for those american english speakers they do not pronounce uh, this sound actually they pronounce sha sound instead of this sound so they do not actually we uh, in other words we can say that they do not pronounce this sound so when we have uh, a words which have more than one syllables uh, like uh, among or above so Uh, usually in among uh, the second 
vowel is this sound but for these american speak as uh, english speakers they pronounce it in this way among and above uh, but they put uh, but we put colons because for them uh, the difference between stress and unstress syllables is not of uh, is not of vowel quality but uh, Uh, the difference between unstressed and stressed syllables is uh, uh, about the vowel duration the vowel which has longer duration it will be the stressed vowel so but uh, for other english speakers uh, in among the two vowels are uh, different from each other uh, by their quality as well so this vowel is un uh, stressed and this vowel is unstressed but for these speakers uh, Shaw is stressed, uh, but they actually uh, ki, uh, make it longer. Like among, among. I I don't know in uh, in which way they pronounce this, but they prolong it. Uh, they they prolong its duration, so it becomes a stress syllable. All right. Now, if we further talk about uh, this similar uh, this. Shaw, uh, we which we call Shaw or colored Shaw, and the simple Shaw. So, for uh, we can say for British English speakers, for uh, British English speakers, uh, this Shaw uh, stands alone. This Shaw is a uh, stands alone solely for uh, the words uh, ending at C E R. so all the words which are ending at er combination usually shaw is used uh, only this shaw is used as far as british english is concerned for example if we have uh, uh, words like uh, uh, like brother or brotherhood so in british english they are pronounced like this bra the or if we have brotherhood so brotherhood if we have like simpler once again the last element is er so they pronounce it like sim pla all right uh, but as far as uh, uh, american english ca is concerned uh, we know uh, that for american english uh, speakers uh, they what they do that they pronounce it with the uh, r they always pronounce these words with r so actually uh, a hook is put and the we use the r colored shore so now it means uh, it is uh, it will be pronounced as brother brother and simpler or brotherhood uh now uh, one more thing that both of uh, these Uh, syllables these are uh, very common and very f uh, frequent uh, they have very common and very frequent use both of these uh, vowels uh, especially in unstressed monosyllables uh, similarly we have these uh, vowels as well in uh, in grammatical markers as well so in some grammatical function words when they occur as unstressed syllable uh, unstressed monosyllable like the a uh, but and to and so when these these function words occur as uh, unstressed syllables unstressed syllables so uh, this show is once again used in this way a uh, but to and because uh, why we are saying unstressed monosyllables and unstressed function words because let me show you from the dictionary uh, just a minute so here you can see uh, i have said the word the so the first it is uh, it has occurred once again show in unstressed syllable uh, unstressed monosyllable then even in north american english but it is also sometime used as a stressed syllable like the 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 and it can use sometime very strongly like the the but in unstressed syllable 
this show occurs just after uh, uh, just in function words and similar is the case with a uh, but and some other function words only uh, or two like to2 all right uh, now similarly there are uh, some other vowels as well which occur in unstressed syllables but uh, because of differences in accents of english it is a little more difficult to say which one of them uh, and the reason is that all other unstressed syllables they may occur as unstressed syllable in one accent but not in the other B but as far as shaw or shawar is concerned so they frequently occur in all of the accents of english as stressed uh, as unstressed syllables so to give such an uh, such examples for example we have this word sophie or sofa pity patter so when we say all of these words so we actually most of the english speaker will different uh, differentiate these vowels at the end of these words like we say usually sophie sofa pity and patter but for some speakers of english they pronounce the last vowel of sophie uh, as in heed like this uh, sound so it becomes like so sophie 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 on the other hand there are some speakers of english which pronounce the last vowels of the last vowel sound of sophie as uh, the vowel which is in heed like sophie 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 all right so here uh, these are a few examples so in in this case so when we say sophie so it is a stressed syllable but when we say sophie sophie so it is actually an unstressed syllable and uh, some more examples uh, is uh, the word about ta t a x i s so for some speaker they say it like taxis some speaker say taxis but uh, no one uh, confused by this word so uh, this word like uh, tech sus it is all uh, almost pronounced by every english speakers as taxis uh, unlike taxis but it may pronounce as taxis taxis or taxis uh, let me show you the last example which is given in the uh, in this table which is actually u we know u this is a sound is actually a consonant but why uh, this is this has been given here the reason is that when this u is used uh, and when there is a uh, there is some word uh, there is a, there is any consonant sound between before this u so actually it just like uh, appears to be a uh, vowel sound not a consonant if we say hued hued or hu bued cued so we shall notice that it uh, it seems that this is a vowel sound but solely or when a word start with this sound at that time it is surely a consonant but in such cases like hued hu bued cued so or even new new even in new we have this sound uh, this consonant but in such cases it appears to be a it seems to be a vowel sound all right uh, in when a sound comes before this sound, uh, this vowel or this consonant sound or this consonant and vowel combination so what you have to do now that go to the website as i have told you earlier in the lecture and listen to all these columns then compare the pronunciation of your own with these uh, columns with all these columns and try to remember the transcription as well because later we have to do the transcription as well so the main motive for this lecture and the last lecture was to uh, better understand how to transcribe different sounds and uh, it is uh, what um, uh, make a foundation when we go further in phonetics and when we have to do work in phonetic labs or etc so i hope you have understood it today's lecture don't forget to give your feedback remember in your prayers jazakallah khairan and thank you